feel like second-rate citizens because we are. If we live in the mainland, we have all the rights of every other American, but as long as I'm living here, I don't. And a lot of people, they think that Puerto Rico, we are Mexican. And a lot of people, they don't know that we are part of the United States. Puerto Rico is part of the United States. Well, sort of. It's complicated. If you ask 10 Puerto Ricans whether they're American, you'll get 10 different answers. I don't feel like I'm American because literally we don't look the same. Do you feel American? Half. We're as American as apple pie. Puerto Rico's status is unique. Glee shitty. Here's how it got that way. In 1898, we beat Spain in a war and freed Spain's Puerto Rican colony to become our Puerto Rican colony. Not exactly. Puerto Rico is technically a commonwealth of the United States and lots of Puerto Ricans are not cool with it. It's no wonder they're literally second-class citizens. They have a congressional representative, but she can't vote. And Puerto Ricans can't vote for their own president. It's such a raw deal, you wonder why Puerto Rico chose it in the first place. We didn't. Oh, right. Guess that's why so many Puerto Ricans want to escape from this 100-year limbo and become a state, like member of the Puerto Rican Senate, Zoe Laboy. I'm a U.S. citizen, and I demand to be treated the same as any woman living in one of the 50 states. You want the same shabby treatment that women are getting in the rest of the country. Yes, indeed. Hope you like getting called a snatch on Twitter. But not all Puerto Ricans think getting closer to the U.S. is the answer, like Senator Juan Dalmo, who wants independence. There are people that uh, I think may think that the problem of the colonial system in Puerto Rico uh, could be solved if you sit the Puerto Rican people in the front part of the bus. That's not the issue. The issue is that as a nationality, we have the right to drive our own bus. So it's like Rosa Parks meets Keanu Reeves in speed. Uh, basically, I think so. Everybody hold on! I love American history. You can't blame some Puerto Ricans for wanting to make a change, and there are many ideas about how to do that. Sure, being a U.S. citizen has its perk, but the U.S. hasn't always taken the best care of its Puerto Rican citizens. We've tested everything on our conveniently less protected by the Constitution countrymen, from bombs to birth control pills to bacon stuffed crust pizza. Would Puerto Rico's recovery be any easier if their relationship with the mainland changed? We'll never know, because these toe-headed jagwads in Congress would have to authorize it. But if there's one thing this Brady bunch of statesmen agree on, it's that they would do anything to make that happen. Go ahead, guys. Give them your pitch. Everyone on the island will give a free alibi to every member of Congress. You know what you did. We'll name a tropical drink after you. The Dark Lord will release your soul. We'll pay for this man to juggle for you on Tuesday afternoons. You can now truly say that you have one Latino friend. Jennifer Lopez will sing you a song. Ricky Martin will sing you a song. Freddie Prince Jr.? Is he still alive? Yeah, he's still alive. Thanks for clarifying, Freddie. 